Hola Explorers, how are you doing? Today I'm in the old town and I'm going to talk to you about coping with being lonely as you're travelling around the world. I've always struggled making friends to be completely honest. I'm an introvert, I've mentioned that on many occasions and it's just something that I've always struggled with. I think once I get to know people, you catch up me up. <laughs> I think another reason why I feel a little bit more lonely in Spain compared to Southeast Asia is that not many people speak English in the areas that I've been going to. I've been staying outside of the tourist areas where the locals live and that's great and there's many benefits for that but one of the downsides is that not many people speak English so it's very difficult to have a conversation in a language that you're still trying to learn whereas in Southeast Asia most of the people speak pretty good English. I don't want you to think that I'm not happy because I am. You know, this lifestyle of being able to travel and work is just exactly what I needed in my life. It's just that nothing is ever perfect life is never perfect and you've just got to make the best of what you've got so today I'm not gonna whinge about feeling lonely instead what I'm going to do is offer some practical advice on coping with being lonely while traveling alone so for my tips the first thing is you've got to remember that there's technology out there for you to keep in touch with family and friends back home. There's Skype, there's WhatsApp, there's tons of different apps that you can use. And also there's the social media side, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, so you're never going to be completely alone. And I think it's really useful to use those types of sites and apps to keep in touch with family back home. And then when you're feeling a little bit down, you can give them a call or you can send them a message, send them some photos. If you're traveling alone, a great way to meet people is booking on a tour. Some of the favorite activities that I've done whilst I've been traveling has been on a pre-organized tour. And the good thing about it is you can be adventurous as you want because you're with a group of people, you've got somebody leading the tour. So for example, when I did sandboarding in New Zealand, I didn't have a problem at all doing that because it was organized, it was safe, and I met so many people on that trip as well. Valencia is an absolutely stunning city. If you'd like me to do a tour video highlighting the best of Valencia, please thumbs up this video. Last week when I was feeling a little bit lonely, I've got to say I don't feel lonely today, but last week when I felt a little bit lonely one day, I was thinking of ideas on how I can meet more people without just going into a bar randomly. And one site I discovered was called meeting.com. And what you can do on there is search for events in areas that you're actually visiting and go to them. So it could be a social event, it could be an event on remote working, it could be an event on travel, it could be anything. Just look at that weather, absolutely stunning day. It's actually days like today where I think to myself, why the hell do you feel lonely sometimes? Because I'm so happy. You know, the weather is gorgeous, the architecture and places that I'm exploring are stunning. I'm going to Denver and New York City. Next week I'm meeting up with my brother Liam in Barcelona, which is gonna be so much fun. <sighs> Life's good. I cannot remember the full quote or who even said it, but it was something along the lines of challenge yourself every day of the week. And I think you need to do that. When you're traveling alone, you need to push yourself through that comfort zone. You need to go into a bar and start a conversation or a restaurant or wherever in the street. Just chat to people and get to know people. And I think I'm a little bit better with that. I used to be terrible, but I think traveling alone over the last 12 months has definitely helped me a little bit get out of that comfort zone and just stop being an introvert. You will always be an introvert if that's what you are, and that won't change, ever. And it surprises me how many video creators try to be an extrovert, and really, in real life, they're not. And what you see on camera is me. You know, the kind of atmosphere, environment of my videos, Relax, chilled out, it's me. Never change who you are for anybody. You are the person you are and never change that. I really mean that. I think far too many people try to be something that they're not. My next tip is create a YouTube channel. 
I mean it, really. Create a YouTube channel if you're travelling alone because it gives you somebody to talk to. You know, I'm in Spain where not many people speak English. I'm an introvert, so I don't go out my way to speak to people. And being able to create videos like I'm doing now and talking to you all is great. Actually, <laughs> this sounds sad, but other than my parents and friends that I ring back home, you are the only people that I talk to. <laughs> Another site that I found really useful is called Reddit and what they have are topic areas called subreddits and they've got a topic area for everything. The ones that I spend quite a bit of time in are the freelancing ones, the digital nomad and the solo travel ones and it's amazing how many people you actually get chatting to in there. You've got to be careful obviously meeting people that you meet in a forum or social media site but if you meet in a popular place with lots of people about, you should be fine. I'm actually going to be meeting a group of people who are living in Barcelona and they're currently remote working. So I'm going to be meeting up with them on the second week that I'm in Barcelona after my brother goes back home. Incredible building. I think this is Valencia Cathedral. Cheers. My final tip really is to enjoy the experience and remember that you're traveling for a reason. You want to explore the world, you want to create memories that last a lifetime and I think when I'm feeling a little bit lonely that's what I think of and that inspires me to continue to travel. And that is it explorers, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you've found it useful. If you've got any suggestions for dealing with loneliness whilst travelling please leave them in the comments. If you've got any questions about solo travel then again leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up. If you want me to do a tour guide around Valencia please thumbs up the video. If you are new to this channel I'm currently travelling around the world, I'm a remote worker. I'm traveling alone and I'm sharing my experiences on this channel. Please subscribe and I shall see you soon. Take care.